moms and dads and other adult figures. We're a family channel. We always have been, always will be. But there is very sensitive subject matter today in this video. I'm warning you ahead of time. It'll be at the end. And if you don't want the kids to hear, probably a good idea to watch this later without them. Heads up. But don't worry. I'm not showing anything graphic. Although the subject matter is somewhat graphic. His wife was the prime suspect of his disappearance and what they believe murder. Back at the warehouse, ready to get at it yet again with the grandma unit that George actually bought this past weekend that had the katana sword in it from Highlander. We now have two of those swords and I don't know what else is in there, so let's dig in together. But before we do, just a couple things I gotta get done first. It's another Friday morning, which means Goodwill is here for their donation pickup. When you deal in tons of volume, you've gotta move tons of volume. And so we can make money by selling things. We can actually make money by donating things. So we get a tax deduction. All of this here has to go in there. So once you guys pick this all up, what happens to it? So from here, we take the donations back to our central warehouse. Uh, we actually sort the donations. Uh, so for our purposes, they're either wares, meaning not clothes, or they're clothes. So we separate them by clothes or wares. And then from there, our stores and our, our five stores in our area order them as they need them, and we ship them out to the stores. That's Get fantastic. Sold. Thanks for picking up, fellas. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank, you. Thank you. Now that I officially have the grocery shopping done for tomorrow's eBay seminar training, now I can get back to work. And if you're going, man, I want to be a part of that eBay seminar training, don't worry. We're going to hold one quarterly, every quarter of the year for you. All right, finally, we can get to the unboxing after we got everything else done. This is what we still have. This is what George came to call the grandma unit because we found so many sewing machines. And there's one, there's one, there's one, and there's three more in there. And we have no idea what's going to be in here. So let's dig in. Let's have some fun unboxing today. So many of our viewers and subscribers are interested in sewing machines. There's four of them here. So there's a Singer with a case. Here's another Singer with a case. It's going to get a little bit bumpy here. Here's another Singer with the manual. I did find the manual. That's a Fashion Mate. Here is a Kenmore with some sewing supplies as well. So I thought the first thing we would do is actually show the sewing machines. And there's probably more of them in there. And then I'm sure we're going to get a plethora of of sewing supplies. We're gonna call this Grandma Bertha. I've already figured out what her name is, and it's not Bertha, but to protect the innocent, Grandma Bertha's unit. Let's take a peek in the chicken or rooster basket here. Looks like we have all things, wait, hold a second, look at that. It looks like this piece is supposed to come out. No, maybe it's just tucked for the fabric. So we've got all things, sewing and embroidery and everything else related. Hey, look at this, look at this. Is that real? The Jap, yeah, it is. It's the Japanese government, $1, the Japanese government. So we just found, we just found old money, Japanese government money in there. That is cool. You see it? Okay, I'll set that aside, show George that later. Here is, I'm going to have to go through all of this, because the older generation, they hid money everywhere. And so it's going to be in, intense. Look at this. Look at that, that pin topper or pin stopper. I don't know what you would call it. Let's just move this around here. Okay, more stuff in here. Lots of fabric, different fabrics. We know she was quilting. So, you know, there, look, there's some of the, the quilt work stuff stuck inside there, too. What is this? This is a magnifying glass. Yeah, there's going to be stuff hidden everywhere. Oh, man. I can't wait to go through all this. Oh, thank you, Grandma Bertha. All right. Here's another. Oh, the, the hinge is there. Let's look here. We've got a ton. We've got a ton of thread. Would you call that thread or string? And there's buttons in the bottom, and there's some papers in the bottom, too. I just need 
their designs. Looks like they're maybe embroidery designs. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. That looks cool. Here's a bag of yarn. So we got a ton of yarn right there. Here's a yarn basket. So bunch of yarn here as well and again i'm gonna have to go through this with a fine tooth i'll show you quickly on the video but then i have to go through everything once i set it aside here's another little caddy so let's just see yeah you got you got all kinds sewing everything in these caddies so this is another sewing caddy which you know maybe if we're lucky some old money in there too Let's see what's in this bottom one that releases it a bunch of bobbins bobbins huh cool stuff upon closer inspection this says the japanese government promises to pay the bearer on demand one dollar now i've been to japan i helped establish a christian camp there and money didn't look like this i can't see anything identifying as far as dates I did not scan with Google Translate, which is something I would typically do to try and chat, to translate the Japanese to actual English. Anybody else have any insight? Seen anything like this before? Let me know in the comments. Let's see what else Grandma Bertha has here. We've got, looks like Little Red Riding Hood. Although... Yeah, the eyes are working. I know you can't see. Well, you can a little bit there. The camera is on an angle pointing down on the trailer. But it looks like she probably quilted the dress. I mean, this is just a huge, huge dress for a little doll. And we'll not go any further than that. But I bet she made that. We'll set that aside. We got a rose collection. I know somebody named Rose. Uh, let's see, we've got a rose collection. This is, this is a baby. So the baby's supposed to be crawling. Baby still has all the bubble wrap. Baby has a blanket as well. And silica gel. And let's see, oh, we, I think we got a name. Certification of Authenticity, limited edition. This is part of the Rose Collection. This is Anne. That is Anne. So I don't think Anne got out of the box very much. And probably that's all right. So Anne, you're going to go back in the box till we can figure out what to do with you. We'll slide Anne over. Here's a box as well. And we've got some books in here. We've got greatest historical novels. Now, one of the things we're gonna do specifically with this unit, we're gonna look through every single page of every book because this is grandma's unit. Wow, look at that. Brand new, oh, that is the beautiful leather. That's, that's Nelson Publishing right there. Brand new, large print. Yeah, we'll have to go through every single page. That's beautiful just to make sure no money was hidden. And I got another box here. This one, I'm gonna have to take the camera up a little bit. This one says dowels. And we got tape. I gotta get my knife. I'll be right back. I gotta go find a knife. It might take me a little bit. I found a knife. Just remember, size does not matter. Well, when you have a knife. So here we go. We'll get inside here. And see what Grandma Bertha has for us hidden in here. She definitely took care of stuff. Things were very, very nicely taken care of. We've got Prime. Let's see. Yeah, this is... That's family photos. We're not going to show that. We've got... Well, let's see if we got the actual dowels. I'm not sure who that is. And this is Taco Bell. This is a large one. I get these a little bit here and there, but this is a large one. I've never gotten that one that big. 
This is an angel. And the angel, actually, this one would be good for storage auction pirate because the angel is actually missing a leg. Oh, found the leg. I was going to say, I'm going to have to talk to storage auction pirate and get a peg leg and an eye patch, but we're good. Found the leg. We got some other babies in here as well with eyes. Let's just go real quick, see what else we can find. Because we're looking. Oh, 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 pound puppy. We found another pound puppy. Yeah. Yes. Okay, pound puppies are worth quite a bit of money nowadays. They are extremely collectible. This one's dirty. This is the second pound puppy I've found in a storage unit. I just found one like last week, and it's been 20 years. And all of a sudden, I find two. I haven't found any in forever. And there you go. That was great. That was an awesome find. And I'm not sure about that. Man, I wish it would have just been labeled pound puppies. And this. All right, this is a little freaky deaky. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, no, wait. This side gets even weirder. One or two. In the comments, let me know. Do you prefer one or two? The face of this baby. One of the questions we get asked all the time is, do former owners actually see their items up for sale on eBay or Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace? See this Hoosier cabinet behind me? I bought the unit for $80, Ashland, Ohio. Guess what? I'm very open that I hire individuals and I pay them commission on what they sell. So this morning, somebody contacted an employee on Facebook Marketplace and said, hey, that's my cabinet. That's mine. I had it in storage at Ashland. Guess what? I bought it in Ashland. So yes, people do see and people will contact you. Things are getting crazier. She's now saying that it's her Hoosier cabinet. She has the receipt for it. And <laughs> she's, she's asking how in the world can that be your boss's? So here we go. This is gonna be, this is gonna That's be interesting. Silly. That's fine. There's another cool little box and she has got all kinds of quilting. Look at that, all kinds of cuts and quilting cuts and wow. <laughs> you name it, I mean she had it prepped, pinned, prepped, all kinds of stuff. Look, I wonder I wonder if we're gonna find, you know, the quilt that this actually goes to. That would be cool. Oh, look at this. Here, let me, I wonder if that's Grandma Bertha right there. Old school picture. It's, oh, <laughs> we got some hidden things down here. Look at that, we got some extreme sweet breath. Well, let's see what we can do. I mean, can't be all that old, right? Oh, my breath is out there right now, so we'll see. Whoa! Oh, man! That is extreme! That is extreme! Okay. Very cool little thimble, number 10. Oh, that tastes like mothballs. Um, this is not the best extreme stuff I've ever eaten. That's hideous. This one says sewing, and I've got to cover up the address. We gotta still have our little knife. Remember, don't cut to the sausage, cut away from the sausage. So I was safe though, don't worry, safety first. This one actually says sewing on it. And come on, away from the sausage. That says boy six months. What is this? This is just fabric fabric look at that steelers this is just going to be a ton of prepped fabric for quilts look at it oh look there's little baby uh baby bibs too i wonder if she's gonna make a quilt out of them jeans for quilts this is just everything for sewing it goes all the way to the bottom all the way all stacked up prepped and prepared For those that were starting to wonder, I promise you this entire unit is not going to be just sewing and quilting. So we found this box, it says food, and I haven't eaten. It's almost four o'clock, I didn't have lunch today, I had an apple for breakfast, let's see what we can eat. 
We got pancake mix. We got some suddenly pasta, white rice, mashed potato, three things of mashed potatoes, hamburger helper. That might help something else. Like that's probably sugar. Ah, come on, give me something. Seasoned salt, quick bread. Yeah, that'd be nice if I could cook and bake and make something. We got starch. We didn't score. We've got a big random box here. And the good news is, is there's money in the bottom of it. So we may, if we're lucky, because maybe Grandma Bertha was actually born and living around then, which is my guess, we may actually find our 1943 copper penny that we've been on a constant quest for. I don't know, I'm not seeing it there. Let's look, let's look here. And no, before anybody even ask, I didn't plant this money. You find money in units all the time. As a matter of fact, George and I have been talking, we're, we're kind of done showing if we find money because we get tired of all the fake comments. And so we, we've kind of just determined if we do find money, we're just not even gonna show it anymore. We edit it out afterwards. So Jeebus and I were talking, it's like, yeah, you find anything good, people always say you're fake and you're clickbait and da 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 da. Yep, it's pretty sad. That's the society we live in. Well, I'm not seeing it. Let's keep moving. Hopefully we find something that I have to edit out of this video. All right, oh, look at this, something better than money. My first love, do we dare? Oh my goodness. Look at this. Um, the first love was Jeremy. Mmm, isn't that sweet? All right. We've got a ton of stuff here. Yeah, it's all personal. We've got Red Aloud Classics. We'll have to go through that over here. We've got, man, just a lot of sorting. A lot, a lot of sorting. That's probably for an aquarium. One of the things I always share with you is there's a story in every unit. And Grandma Bertha's story is getting very twisted, as I'm going to show you. And I'm not going to show you all the details, but foul play, death, and murder was a part of it, which is one of the reasons why I always, always encourage you never, ever, ever reach out and contact former storage unit owners with your information. If you're going to reach out to them, it has to be anonymous because you don't want to put yourself in an unsafe situation. Let's look at some of the newspaper articles, clippings next. I have stacks and stacks of newspapers about this disappearance break found in the 1999 case a uh, local man disappeared five years later they received a break he and his motorcycle his truck all gone and they believe foul play murder so this just gets crazier and crazier they couldn't find this man or his vehicle they finally actually they give a certificate of death because they couldn't find him and all they know is he was filing for divorce and all they know is he completely disappeared, never to be found again. And all that's stated is foul play. They absolutely believe foul play was a part of this. So obviously, me as the owner of this unit now, I'm not stupid enough to reach out to anybody. I don't want to be a part of this drama. This got real somber real quick. As I found all of this legal paperwork. So basically the family filed and they don't want their brother's stuff to be sold because, right here, his wife was the prime suspect of his disappearance and what they believe, murder. And maybe you're thinking right now, Jeremy, why would you even share this with us? Well, I questioned whether I should or not. But I've always operated letting you know every aspect of this business if you're going to get into it. And these are the things that are guttural painful make you sick to your stomach when you read them so this is the last piece of paper i'm reading i can't take it anymore I'm